take a little break. There are times you get interrupted. Don't be discouraged. You want to look and make sure that you're creating the same size spots from side to side. And here we need to add a little bit of the other spot. Being covered up by the feather on top of it. I don't like that. Quite. That's why it's better to do that outer spot on the outer edge of the feather, and then you know. how much uh, of the other spot on the other side of the feather is going to be exposed. <clears throat> I've said this before when in other videos when you're painting it doesn't happen the first pass or the second pass or even the third pass sometimes it takes even more than that and as you add your subsequent layers the the bird comes into focus the feathers the detail all of it comes into focus with each pass just a little bit more into focus and the final result, when you've done all your passes, is a very soft looking bird. Come back with my second and third passes. Just a little bit larger feather spot on the feather I mean. Come back with my subsequent passes and with each pass um, it might be only uh, a micro um, fraction of a an inch difference when I come back the next time. I'll try to do it exactly the same, but it won't be exactly the same. And then doing that softens the edge to a really soft look. That's why there's more advantage to a softer look by painting in several different coats, different layers of paint. Um, 
to achieve that solid color that you're after in the end. Again, I'm comparing to the row adjacent on the other side to make sure that these feathers are the same size. I'm, sa I'm sorry, not feathers, but spots are the same size. Always keep that brush handy or wiping off from Oh, I'm out of view. Out of view. How long have I been out of view? There we go. I need to edit that part out. <laughs> anyway. I'm in focus here. All right. So this is a more of this feather here. This is the la the back edge or side edge of the feather on top of it. So there's more of this feather than half of it exposed. So I bring my spot right up to the edge. Um, the distance I have consistently used for all these feathers distance from the edge of the feather and then I know that just a sliver of the second spot on that feather would show through or be exposed so I'm just adding that as I go on the lighter feathers or the feathers that have a, more of the feather of the spot exposed. And again, making sure to stick to the right size according to the roll cross.
side pocket feather is covering part of this feather, so to account for that. When you put on the spot. I use a Gamblin Fast Matte Paints. Drive pretty fast. That's kind of nice. Means you can uh, go back for a second pass on the same sitting if you have a large bird like this to, to cover by the time you finish that last side. You can go back and start over and uh, not be just pushing oil paint around. If you don't wait long enough for the, the paint to dry and oil paint, it can become a real mess because you're pushing paint around and it's mixing in with itself. And um, it can turn to mud real fast if you don't <clears throat> give the paint enough time to dry. So, sometimes carvers who are impatient will end up having to start over, strip their bird because they didn't take the time to let the paint dry before they moved on to the next step. So that's pretty important. And it's, it's hard to keep all of these the same color um, shade of white because I'm going back and forth from the palette to my bird and when I come back from the palette to the bird my brush is more full of paint. Uh, and then it slowly loses that paint and is distributed onto the bird so it's not there. Um, and creates a lighter spot. So next time around this will, these white spots will become much more solid looking and don't fret over they're not being the same color right now. Right now you're roughing in the spot. The spots. Well, accurately. It's kind of nice having all these feathers just carved in. Oh, I don't have to make my pattern up as I go. It's all been defined for me by the feathers. So I just have to put the color in the right place. Clean up a lot as you go. If you're not happy with what you just put on there, come back with that clean brush and a little bit of medium. Remove what you don't like and do it again. Or just remove what you don't like because it's too much. People get really balled up about painting and it's actually the most 
relaxing part of carving wildfowl because you get to <laughs> you did all of this work already and uh, now it's like uh, you're putting on the makeup <laughs> final touches I'm trying to center this for you. See, I just came back from the palette. So these feathers are going to be a little bit brighter spots are going to be a little bit brighter. <laughs> 